Okay, Shirley. Um, we're looking at the entry on your website for the Peggy and Yogi litter, which I put on before um, your puppies were actually born. So you can see that the picture here is just one that um, I've got from elsewhere. I've probably got it from Pixabay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, how to edit the actual image, which I've downloaded already with this Adobe Express, which you'll find the link in your dashboard. So I've recommended that images on your website be resized to 500 by 500 pixels. Um, so the easiest way to do that um, is this way. Uh, you'll also notice as well that in the guides, I recommend that you take pictures in landscape mode rather than portrait because when you're taking portraits on your phone, you get black bands um, down the side of the image. Anyway, let's go into Adobe Express. So I'm just clicking on the link there. Now, I've already signed up for an account. And I'm possibly sort of logged in already. Um, let's just have a little look. So just go on here. Adobe Express. If you've not used it before, it'll ask you to create a free account. The easiest way to do that is just to log in with your Google account. Okay, so see, I'm already logged in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, easiest way to do is to just start from your content. So I'm just going to click on that and Yogi Peggy, Peggy Litter 1. This is one that I just got off your Facebook. So I'm just going to open that up. Right. Okay. And I'm just going to click on Create New. So custom size is probably the easiest one to go for. And here, I think those are the original dimensions as taken by your phone. So I'm just going to do... 500 by 500 oops create a new project there we go okay so you can see the image there inside inside the 500 by 500 what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take the little circle on the corner if you hold down your shift key and drag it it should resize it um, properly if you don't hold down the shift key um, what you'll end up doing is you'll end up distorting the image so and you want to drag it out so that it's actually bigger than the 500 by 500 square that we've told it to make and then you can just shift it around you can see that it's not quite big enough yet just drag that up a little bit more drag it out okay so that should be wide enough And then I'm just going to nudge it down with my arrow keys on my keyboard to try and get the the puppies in the center. Okay, that looks okay to me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on download. And you want to change that to JPEG for best for small file sizes that means that it'll load on your web page quicker and click download and i'm going to give it the same name as i had before so yogi peggy litter one dash and i'm just going to put 500 x 500 on the end so so I just know that that's the resized one. And then I'm going to click save. Okay, so we're done with that for the moment. Okay, so I've switched back to the website. And I'm going to go to dogs. And we want to have a look at the dog grid.
and I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to, there it is, Peggy and Yogi lit up. So I'm just going to edit it. Okay, so um, we're in the editing page now. If I scroll down, right down to the bottom on the right hand side, you'll see the featured image. I'm going to remove that featured image because obviously that's not the correct one. That's just one that I found to use. So remove featured image. And then once that's removed, do set featured image. And it's not in the media library at the moment, so we'll need to upload that. Click on select files. And then go to where you saved it. So mine should be on here. There it is. 500 by 501. Click on open. Okay, and just so that it's easy to search for as well, it's always a good idea to put something in these boxes where it says alt text, caption and description, definitely alt text. So I'm going to call this one Yogi and Peggy's first litter of pups. Okay. I'm just going to copy that and then I'm going to paste it into these other boxes and then click on set featured image and you'll see that's there now um, you notice that the featured image was also in the gallery so I'm going to add the new image into the gallery click on media library and because we've just added it it'll be there at the beginning and just click add image um, and this one here I'm just going to remove that one and you can actually change the order so you can drag that to the start if you want okay That's okay. Um, I'm not sure what the date of birth of those pups is yet. I need to find that out from you. But anyway, we'll just click on update. And now that's updated. If we just go back to the page for the Peggy and Yogi Litter. And we'll just click refresh to see whether the changes are there. Which hopefully they should be. And there you go. You can see that you've got your new one there and your gallery is there as well perfect so we'll do a similar procedure for uploading the other pictures that I found on Facebook and adding them to the gallery